Hello everyone, this is Tronic Yaka and you're watching my fourth video on Arduino Projects video series. Today I'm going to talk about a budget camera slider which can be used for simple applications and this is the first part of it. In the first part, I'll show you how to make the mechanical structure and the controlling of the slider will be in the second part. I've done this project in collaboration with my friend's YouTube channel Instant Support Lab. Don't forget to visit this channel and check some sample video clips which we have recorded using this camera slider. So let's get started. Before starting the video, I'd like to show you the official logo of my channel designed by Pomegranate Design Labs. I highly recommend the company Pomegranate Design Labs to anyone who is looking for a creative design solution. They mainly do design logos, posters, paper advertisements, social media graphics, packaging designs, business cards, letterheads, etc. under graphics and communication design. And they also do furniture design, lighting and mainly interior design under the category of product and interior design. So you can contact them anytime through this email or just direct message to their Instagram account Pomegranate Design Labs. So let's start our project with the requirements. For this project, you need an Arduino board with a cable, a stepper motor, a stepper motor driver, a battery and some jumper wires. Also you need 10 meters long conduit pipe of diameter 0.75 inches, 20 centimeters long conduit pipe of diameter 1 inch, 2 conduit pipe T joints each of diameter 1 inch, a hacksaw blade, some binding wires, a lightweight strong thread of around 11 feet long, a mobile holder and a piece of plastic. First cut the 10 feet long conduit pipe in the middle and get two pipes each of 5 feet length. Then cut a piece of plastic in rectangular shape, dimensions as shown on the screen. Then take T joints and split them in two. Take the conduit pipe which is of diameter 1 inch and make it 20 cm long. Then split it in two. Now take the pieces and paste them tight as shown. Our next task is to fix the plastic plate. Make some holes to tie it using binding wires. Then take those 5 feet long pipes and we need to find a way to keep them steady. So I took some waste plastic bars and prepared these kind of pieces. Now take another piece of plastic like this and fix it at one end. 
This helps in fixing the stepper motor on it. Now take a PVC pipe of diameter 1.5 inches to fix the motor to the structure. You can decide your own way to fix the motor to the structure. Now make some holes in it and tie the PVC pipe to our structure. Then I fixed 4 jam cups at each corner in order to increase the height of the structure from the ground. Now fix the stepper motor to the structure. Next take the pulleys and paste 2 plastic plates on both sides. After that, take one of them and fix it to the motor shaft. Then I took a spoke from a motorbike wheel, placed the pulley through it and fixed it at the other end. Now take the thread and tie one end to the slider. Keep the thread through pulleys and tie to the slider again. Then take the mobile holder and fix it to your sliding part. Now you can fix your phone to the slider and start recording. So this is how it works. So guys that's it for the today's video. Don't forget to visit the channel Instant Support Lab and see some good stuff. Once again thank you Pomegranate Design Labs for supporting me. If you are still watching this video. You can like my Facebook page and follow my Instagram account. So guys don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. See you again in another video.